Hi all, Namrata here and you are watching Simulink Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about MATLAB Coder. So have you ever come across a situation where you have a MATLAB script that you have defined a function and now you want to convert it to C or C++ code and you really don't want to spend a lot of time to convert that M script to C or C++ code. So how to do it quickly and what's the solution for it? Well, that's where the MATLAB coder comes in picture. So today's video is about that. So let's start with today's video and see how it works and how we can use it. So to start a MATLAB coder, you have to type coder in MATLAB command window. Then this MATLAB coder window will appear. Here, this is the numerical conversion method. So if you have written your MATLAB function in double precision form, and you want to convert the data type to fixed point or you want the code in single precision format, then you have to select one of these options. Well, I'm skipping this option. Then generate code for function. So here by browsing, you have to select a MATLAB function file that is the M script for which you want the C or C++ code. So I'll select this calculate factorial M script. I'll just open this file and show you the script that I have written. So this is normal factorial calculation. So here I'm passing a number to this calculate factorial function for which I want the factorial. So I'm assigning by default the output to be equal to one. And if the input value is greater than zero, then it is calculating the rest of the factorial. So in case the value of input is zero then the factorial will always be one so this is in double precision format by the way so i have selected the file then click on next here you have to provide a data type for the input so click here to define and just giving it double the scalar input since it's not an array so you can see here you can provide the data type that you want like in 16 or you int it and the signal dimensions as well then click on next and here you either have to call the function by passing some input or you can select a MATLAB script where you are calling the function with certain input. So basically this is to test if there are any issues with the function. So I'll just select a MATLAB script that is test calculate factorial. I'll open the file and this is what I have written in the script. So I'm just calling the calculate factorial function with some input, for example, five or four, eight and 10. So this step will use the script to check if there are any errors in the return function or even in the call. So check for issues. So this tape will check for issues like, for example, I'm passing some double data type input, but if the function expects you int it, then it will throw an error. So errors like that. or even the data type conversion during the code sequence. For example, if I go to this function, for example, in case this one was u inted, but the input was given double, then it would have given some error in this check for issues type. So since it found no issues, it is all green and we can proceed to next step.
also you can see here it has created this MATLAB executable now you can select the language in which you want your code so in this step you can select the build type so if you use source code it will generate your C++ code based on your selection if you select mix then it will be executable inside the MATLAB environment then static library or dynamic library or executable so I am selecting the source code and it will select the tool chain automatically so I am hitting the generate So you can see here the C code is generated for the function that is the return value of this function will be double the input is double and it has basically converted it into the C format and if you look at this variables that is input output and the local I variable the data type is Double. So it has given data type automatically from the script since I had not defined data type for output or the I the local variable. Now I'll just close this coder and we will create code one more time instead of selecting the test calculate factorial well will just directly give the function call and pass the input value to it in the MATLAB coder window. So I'm deleting this old files type coder I'm selecting the calculate factorial file next here to define double its scalar so I'm selecting the one by one dimension next and in this step now instead of selecting that test calculate factorial file I'll just directly call the function And let's check for issue. So this is how you can either give the test data through M script or by directly placing a call over here. Next. and generate and it generated code successfully it has given the data type for the input output and the local variable as double taken automatically except for the input which we defined already in the first step so that's how you generate a code from the function you have written in m file also there are some restriction on the usage of this tool for example some MATLAB functions you cannot use to generate this C or C++ code so always keep in mind that so that's all for this video I hope you learned something new today and in future in case you come across such situation then I hope you will make use of this tool so 
till then keep watching and keep learning and i'll see you in my next video